Hello, welcome back. This is Craig. We're going to talk about layers today as <clears throat> excuse me, as we build our magazine cover for the Kids Club. So the layers palette is probably the one that I have open most of all um, out of anything in Photoshop because this gives you all of the different layers that you need to build your file. So when we look at this, um, the magazine cover, there are a lot of different layers over here, maybe about, uh, maybe about 20, 25 layers. Now, the goal isn't to have as many layers as you can. My goal is usually to have um, the least amount of layers as possible, um, but you need to have enough to get the job done and to organize your, your piece of art. So when we look through here, all of the layers that are shown in here, I've tried to um, label them as best I can. Um, some of them haven't been labeled yet because they were just used in a demo, but what I try to do is I try to label my uh, layers as soon as I make them or create them so you know what they are. Um, the, the basics of the layer palette is that you have um, one line equals one layer, and the layer that you see at the top, like this kids club, um, or like I have the words before and after down here, they are above everything else in the layer palette, so that means they are in front of everything else in or on the artboard. So anything that is up toward the top or above something else is going to show up um, in front of it when you look at it over here. So right now, let's uh, let's just grab one of these layers and let's um, let's copy this this little girl here. I'll grab my marquee tool. If I want to make a copy of her and put her over here, what I need to do is I need to make sure I'm on that layer and I'm going to type Command C to copy and Command V to paste. And you'll notice that it pastes the new, um, the copy of this photo right above that layer. So now if I grab this with my, I'm typing a V to go up to my move tool, you can see that now I have a copy of her. And where she is in the palette, or um, in the uh, layers palette, she's pretty much close to, actually she's second to the bottom. So she's really underneath almost everything else here. If so I move her over here, notice that she's disappearing. Well, that's because for demo purposes, I have this white background here. You see I have this white background layer that covers up everything um, to make it a little bit easier for you to look at. So if I just want to, I can turn off the white background, and you see on the layers here, if I click the eye and the eye is not visible, that means that the layer is invisible. So now I can grab her and move her over here. But if I turn, and you see it snaps back to um, that layer. But if I turn my white layer back on like I like it, she's hidden. So in order to make her visible, I just have to grab this layer, click here in the gray, and drag it up. And I can drag all the way up to the top and it'll kind of cycle through. Move her right in between or right above that white layer and release. And now she is in front of that white layer. So it works pretty well um, in, for organizing your files. You have an option too as to um, how large these layers are. And you can um, take really any layer and kind of toggle through here you have no thumbnails which looks like this which I don't care for small thumbnails which is fairly popular medium thumbnails and you have large thumbnails I usually have medium or large for uh, recording these demonstration purposes so you can see what's on each layer now if I want to select something on each layer as I hover over the icon if I hold my command key down you will see that the little rectangular marquee with kind of the marching ants pops up. That means that I want to make a selection of that. So moving over the icon of the layer, I'll hold my command key down and click, and it will select whatever is on that layer. And now I could do whatever I want to this if I wanted to. If I would like to make a new layer, brand new layer with nothing on it, and go down here, right next to the, the trash can. If I hover over this, it shows me this is the Create New Layer icon. 
I simply click here, and whichever layer I'm on, it will create <coughs> a new layer above that. And this layer is completely empty. So I can put on here, I can copy something, paste something on here. If I want to get rid of a layer, I can simply highlight it, and I can drag it to the trash can. Or what's a little bit faster is once I've selected it, I can just type delete, and it will go away. Now, if I want to make a new layer based on just part of another layer, let's just say I want to take her eyes here and select these and make another layer based on, um, based on her eyes, I can go to Layer up here in the, the drop-down menu, New, and I can make a, a layer via Copy or a layer, layer via Cut. If I make a copy, it's going to add a new layer right above this one, but notice that it only included what I had outlined with my selection. So now on this layer above, I have just those eyes, the part that I selected from here, and down below I have the original photograph, which is really untouched. Had I gone, um, let me get rid of this layer, had I made the same selection, and I said to make a new layer via cut, it would have made a new layer like it did before, but now it cut that from the previous layer. So now this is on a separate layer and this is on a separate layer. <clears throat> so let me go back one step here. There we go. Okay, so Okay, so I can also link layers together. I look at this uh, these two words here, before and after. And they sit down here at the bottom of the, of the page, just kind of showing you that this is the before that we're creating and this is our end result. If I want these two to move together, no matter what, I can hold my shift key down and select more than one layer. I can select more than one layer if I hold my shift key down and just keep going down here. Or if I want, I can select individual layers by holding my command key down and they don't have to be in sequence. I can jump around if I don't want this one, I can just click on that one again. The whole time I'm holding my command key down to grab these different layers. And if I want to get rid of all these layers, just click on one that isn't clicked. So if I want to put these two together, I'm going to hold my shift key down and select the after layer and the before layer. And then I'm going to hold my control key. See, so I get the little menu there showing me that there's more options. I will click here and I will tell the, the layers to link together, link layers. And then it puts a little chain link over here. Now, let's say I'm down here on this layer or this layer, and I want to move before and after, but I want to make sure I keep them level. Well, if I just click on after and forget to click on before, if I go to move after, it will move before. So these two are linked together, and it kind of helps me to remember if, um, if I have a couple of layers that I want linked together, um, remember that I wanted them to stay together. So if I want to unlink them, I simply hold my shift key down, select both of them, hold my control key down, click again, and tell it to unlink the layers. Okay, well this ends our first tutorial on layers. This will be tutorial one. Um, be sure to look for tutorial number two, where we'll spend about another, another eight to ten minutes um, expanding on layers and how we use layers to complete our magazine cover. Thank you.